Hey, welcome brothers. This is Enemy Stand User, and before getting to the review, my last chapter 187 video is no longer up due to copyright issues, and Shueisha even gave me a strike. So it's annoying, but I'm gonna have to try a bit harder to cover my tracks, whether it's obscuring panels or showing less of the manga just to avoid copyright. And I'll do that to, to the best of my own ability. But moving on from all that though, this week's chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen was crazy. We have another crazy chapter continuing on Hakari and Kashimo Hajime's epic battle. And things in this chapter take very brutal turns, but Hakari is still high strung. He's still the Hakari. We know his fever is high and it's still rolling high. It really impresses me just how incredibly tooth and nail this clash is going, but even more so just the level of sorcerer Hajime is, it's just, and just, he's just like Hakari, he doesn't care because Shimo won't let up and it, he just really keeps the pressure on without any sort of hesitation. This fight has just been so back and forth, it's been crazy, but we've never really seen Kashimo really get shaken up. And this chapter really shows that Kashimo is a lot more trouble than some of us would give him credit for. But let's dive into this amazing chapter with chapter 188, Tokyo number two colony part seven okay we kick things off in a banger as we see hikari's main verse or sort of lyrics to his made-up song if you stand over there i think it's called something else in the official but it seems it seems like a pretty cool love song i assume having to do with this love manga and if you pay attention to the lyrics they talk about how they exaggerate themselves in life to the very end even when they make mistakes. So who knows if this is kind of like a reflection of Hikari in some way or Hikari's abilities, I don't know. It's pretty interesting that Gege would put this here. It's mad random too, but it's just cool for us to see like what Hikari's jamming out to. The next panel we see, we are put back into the battle with Hikari and Hajime running in epic fashion and Hikari is fresh off of his immortality state. And it really shows as he's revving up and he punches a whole shipping container at Kashimo like nothing. And Kashimo actually punches it right back at him. Then in Jojo style, they both decide to flex and keep punching it back at each other till the container is flattened on some road roller BS. But Hakari revs up a second time. However, instead of continuing this back and forth, Kashimo decides to get the jump on Hakari grabs and rips open the metal container door and scrapes it brutally across Hikari's face. A metal door then hits him a second time, causing Hikari's face to be flayed open and injured with exposed muscle underneath. It's freaking brutal, dude. At this point in time, Kashimo exclaims that cursed energy comes from the stomach, but reverse curse originates from the head. We've actually seen an example of this cursed energy with Yuji and Toto's fight with cursed energy's origin from the stomach. And recently we've seen Yuda use reverse curse from his head to output positive cursed energy directly from mouth to mouth. That was the closest instance from the brain. However, Kashimo points out that no matter how powerful the reverse curse technique is, a single blow to the head can kill it no matter what. So in an extremely dark and scary moment, Kashimo builds up his charge and is about to kill Hakari by making his head implode from inside build up. And this was a extremely scary moment. Even Hakari realizes that this is a pretty bleak in this instance. However, Hakari steadies himself and uses reverse curse to heal his brain while it's being damaged and shoots out excess cursed energy buildup from his nose like he's sneezing. Now that is damn impressive. That level of reverse curse is freaking crazy. Even Hikari tips his hat to Kashimo's efforts and taunts him, but he's, now he starts his onslaught as Hikari's time is starting to run out and his hits are getting even faster now as he's trying to take out Kashimo. Hikari thinks to himself that Kashimo sure hit lightning probably has some sort of limit or some like cooldown or requirement. So he decides to keep up the pressure and throw himself out there, quote, 
to sacrifice my immortal body to take him out end quote and hikari is really putting hands on kashimo however kashimo actually has a hidden card yet to be revealed a couple hundred meters away kashimo placed his staff on the ground and actually placed a charge on the staff so hikari is not the only charged target kashimo used a phenomenon called cloud to ground lightning that's what it's referenced to in nature and check out my chapter 184 review where i actually discussed that theory on hajime's cursed energy and how it worked like cloud to ground lightning it's like kashimo is the cloud and his staff is the ground or vice versa or whatever his target is so anything in between that with a charge is going to be auto hit it's sure hit and this is indeed a direct hit as it critically damaged Hikari's guts and his midsection literally blowing a chunk out of him and at the same time immortality is gone it's over reverse curse is over however of course Hakari being Hakari he lives for the fever and as long as he breathes he gambles even his life as he uses a last ditch domain expansion a third time to end the chapter off in an epic cliffhanger the chapter end note reads bet even if you die that's the gambler's way and wow hikari is definitely that way now this is truly idle death gamble and if you remember from last chapter kashimo said if he lasts another round surviving immortality and hikari expands his domain expansion again kashimo believes he can definitely win so this time around hikari will have no probability mode he won't enter that and might either return to normal mode or go into time reduction mode jitan which could result in faster spins or something like that as we've never saw it in action either way hikari would literally enter his domain injured and vulnerable as he could be killed this round he's vulnerable things are really not looking good for hikari but he potentially he could heal himself if he survives this round but things really are not looking good for him and i personally feel like ashimo would fully jump on this opportunity to slay hikari this round so we'll just have to see if hikari's luck runs out or not as this is getting really scary for him another really cool thing i liked about this chapter was kashimo's prowess as a fighter kashimo is seriously good and his hits are definitely on par with hikari even without any sort of cursed energy buff he straight up ripped open hikari's face and almost blew up his head with next to no conditions almost instantly kashimo's lightning power is straight up godlike as it can even kill hikari's unkillable mode if hikari is not careful the reference to cloud to ground lightning too is really cool of how it referenced nature like that and it just adds the ability or for how it's sure hit because when lightning hits the ground it arcs from the ground's negative charge and the clouds positive charge so when you're in between that arc there is no question that you will be hit so yeah kashimo is a real one and his power just straight up smites people like he didn't even reveal his curse technique yet just his raw cursed energy alone is so powerful that it causes people to implode and rip apart it's very fitting for a pass sorcerer like kashimo and i even like how he used his lightning staff as a hidden card and how his staff was actually just adding to his godlike nature it's a reference to the monkey king's ryu bang staff so there's a cool sun wukong reference there i was certain hajime was like a god of thunder like takamikazuchi or kashima no kami like a chief deity of thunder with but with that sun wukong reference it's just like i wonder how much gege wants to connect all these little references together anyway though just let me know how y'all think this battle will play out it's very scary and also a little exciting to see Hikari in this bad situation. So soon we'll see how far his gamble goes and how far his luck runs. But and who really is going to win in this Tokyo Colony number two? Because, man, things have been going on for a long time. This has been a long, hard fight these last chapters. But thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like and sub for more videos like this. I've kind of been on cooldown with my these last couple of weeks with my vids lately, but I'll slowly start to crank out more and more content as we go on. This, but this has been Enemy Stand User, and I will see you brothers in the next one. Peace.